Hello everyone, it's Mauriki Con 2020. It's finally here. It's a great event. Finally ready. So I'm so happy and it's a big honor to be involved. So I, I, I would like to say thank you for Ruth, for Ekra. Ruth is special because she's working a lot connecting the dots. I'd like to say thank you for, for our Brazilian community, for my partner. I'm so lucky. I'm a lucky guy to be involved in such a great project. So in today, I'm going to share Power Tick point of view about integration. And but before, I would like to share our agenda, our presentation agenda, why integration is so important. Some Mautic plugins advantage and disadvantage to use native Mautic plugins. And I'm going to share some applications where we can use to connect to Mautic. And finally, I'm going to show how to integrate Facebook leads with Mautic integrate Facebook leads to Mautic using Integromatch. So a little bit about us, about PowerTik. We are working with Mautic since 2015. Uh, we founded Brazilian community. Uh, you can find on on meetup, meetup.com and Facebook Brazil and Facebook Mautic Brazil. So today we have more than 8,000 members. So it's so great. And Luis, my partner, he's maintainer. He's one of the maintainers of Mark Docker repository. Now it, with over 2 million downloads. Great. And I want to start with this landscape, MarTech landscape for who it's already work with MarTech or it's this landscape is very popular. It, it's designed by chiefmartech.com, Scott Brinker. He's the, the leader. And every year they publish a new update about the new companies and the new marketing tools. And I like to check new tools and like when I'm not doing anything, check new platforms. So and beside that, I like to see how they organize their, their stack or their content and how they organize the, the platforms, uh, which categories they, they, they select. Because in this way, I kind of see how marketing market it's it's going, you know, how they are organized, they, their stack, their solution, for example, in social, commerce, data. So, because, you know, sometimes it's a big mess. You don't know when you start one solution to another solution, uh, which solution is responsible for what, because it's so many over overlay, overlap, you know, the solutions. So this landscape, helps a lot so and the second reason because it's you you can see it's growing uh, you can't see 2014 but they started with 105 solutions so now they have more than eight thousand it's growing a lot and basically because our consumer behavior as consumer we are involving a lot True, because we are using new apps, you, you, we are using new solutions, tablet, cell phone, and basically our behavior as consumer is changing. And marketing needs to change as well in order to keep our messages relevant for our target. So basically it's the natural way. We, we as marketers, we have to keep updated our our message and keep being relevant. So, and but the point is there are more than eight thousand marketing tools, and it's it even possible use only one for marketing. So, and my answer is not only no, but hell no, it's impossible because. You can even try to use just one solution, like a all-in-one solution, but for sure 
you will not have any kind of insights you will have in one simple vertical. For example, many people ask, oh, hey, Rodrigo, why Mark don't introduce, don't create a social media scheduler or publisher or something like that? Then my answer is always the same because we have couple of couples of of great solutions like uh, Hootsuite, Buffer App, and you, you know it, you can like when you get one vertical, one platform, you can gain you can collect many insights about your customer journey, about its its reach. You know when you compare with only one solution, and it's not only my opinion, like according to Gartner, the CMOs will spend more money than the IT department. The marketing will spend more money than CIOs. That's it's a big milestone, basically because, like I said, our our behavior as consumer is changing, and marketing needs to change to using the right tools. To do that, another uh, fact about that it's marketing is spending more money with technology than spending with people. And I'm not supporting technology. I'm just bringing the facts. Don't attack me because I'm supporting technology. I'm just bringing the facts. So uh, I still think people. For sure, 100% agree. People are the differentiator uh, when we we are talking about 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 creativity. And but it's true, you have to invest a lot in tools. And this other research I like so much because it we can we can plan and we can help our clients uh, as agencies, as consultants, we can help our clients to identify how money, how much they they should invest in marketing technology. So this research from Gartner, and remember you can access, uh, after I can share my presentation, you can access the link right here below. So, according to Gartner, not according to Gartner, Gartner uh, has a research with 432 companies and they shared around one, one quarter of all marketing budget they invest in marketing technology. So, other, other great outlook, it's because the marketing leaders they 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 are planning even increase this investment in martech in in technology for marketing so i'm showing a couple of researchers just to show you how is important to use integration and how is important to to plan your integration and and this one it's a great one because it's showing how it's the adoption of SaaS solution, not only in marketing department, but all company like HR, uh, DevOps, engineering, finance. And that shows we, in some moment, we have to connect the dots. We have to connect our marketing system with our sales, our finance, and connect everything. And that's one of the reason. And this slide, it's, it supports that. Why integration is by far the most important criteria. Because basically, everything what's happening in marketing landscape and in technology, it's moving to that it's we have to connect our departments we have to connect our data with other sources so in today marketing leaders they 
their their top priority it's if the this new platform technology software it connects with the other the platforms so you can even have a great platform so but if you can connect with the others they will pick another solution so and these are modic plugins basically they they come when we download the project this modic software so and it's great because you don't need to start from from scratch you can like connect modic using a native plugin with connect to hubspot connect to salesforce pipe drive so it's and it works but before before we start to use Mautic plugins, I would like to ask a couple of questions. Can I monitor whether plugin is working or not? For example, because Mautic, we don't have any kind of dashboard where we can see if, for example, if we connect our Mautic with, if we connect our Mautic to HubSpot, we don't have any any information if it's working or not. So that it's a big concern, at least for me. Second, can I see the last data that passed passed through the integration? So we can see, for example, uh, which were the last contacts contacts triggered by Mautic integration. So again, Mauric doesn't doesn't provide any kind of dashboard to monitor log history, any kind of thing like that. Third question: Can I maintain the plugin integration updated? Of course, when we are talking about native plugins and and popular plugins like HubSpot, PipeDrive, Salesforce plugins, our community probably will maintain the code, but in case you decide to develop a new integration, new plugin with your system, so how we will update or, or maintain this code? You're going to pay a, a developer to maintain that, and, and remember, developers usually are not cheap. And fourth, can I add new integration easily? For example, can I click and drag and drop and create a new integration or do I have to, you know, contact this developer and put our task in their, in their queue of tasks and you know how usually uh, IT departments or developer they are always busy. So, are you going to wait? So that's the question. And the last one, can I sleep well if one of the answers above is no? That is the point. For example, if you, in case you create a, a sales funnel or some kind of sequence, so how, how are you going to monitor if it, everything's working well? Market, you know, we, we can monitor that with Mark. Because of that, I prefer use a third-party application like, like Zapier or Integromat because they provide that. So, and I can even replay the task, the integration case, some thinking got wrong. So, because you know, internet, it's, it's a, a kind of environment, it, it could fail. It, it's it's not 100% guaranteed. We all 100% uh, of our integration will work. So as as marketers, we need some way how to monitor that. So because of that, I always I, I always suggest to our clients use one of these solutions. So. I'm not going to dive in, in each solution. I'm just sharing a couple of them. And one solution I, I would like to highlight here is PySync. 
and they were acquired by HubSpot recently. So, but the the thing I like PySync, it's because they they are not like Integromat and Zapier because Zapier and Integromat they are they are triggered based. And what that means basically, it, they trigger some connection after you do something. So, for example, ah, you update your contacts on HubSpot and that trigger a, 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 a Mauric update. So, uh, PySync, they sync both database, both apps, uh, without counting uh, tasks, for example. They count, they, they count uh, based on contacts. So, for example, if you have 1,000 contacts, so they will sync bidirectional both contact lists. And when we compare with Zapier, Zapier, so they they don't have this kind of integration Zapier. Basically, when uh, in Zapier they have a special page explaining that because they don't do bidirectional sync. Basically, because that will uh, that would create a kind of eternal infinite loop because when you update a name on HubSpot, then HubSpot will update Mark name and Mark will update name, then we will update HubSpot, HubSpot will update Mark, Mark, okay, you got it, so, and PySync does that. PySync, it's fully synchronized, and what's great uh, if you need something like that. For example, integrate all uh, and sync all your Google contacts or your CRM or your Apple agenda, so it's it's great. And I'm going to pick Integromat because it's the most powerful integration. It it's definitely it's the best integration, Mark integration, because they have advanced ways how to connect Mark. And I'm going to show right now. Let me share my screen. I'm going to, oh, sorry, I was logged here. I'm going to log out here and start from scratch to share. I'm going to first pricing page. And I like so much because, uh, one, because they have a great solution for Mark, and second, because it's the cheapest solution compared to Zapier. So, and we can, this number operation is not like contacts. So for example, it's just one operation inside of a, a, a scenario. So if you like use, for example, four models, four actions, four operation inside a, a scenario, so it, it will count for operations. So, but still good, it's still like if you have a uh, scenario with two models, you can you, you can use for five thousand contacts monthly, which is great. It, it's it's awesome. So let's sign in and create a. Um, we have a free account here. I I have been testing for a couple of days, and. And we have implemented in a couple of clients and we can even create many companies here. It's awesome. And we can see at the first page how great it is when we have a, a third part application just for integration. We can see this chart and it's awesome because we can monitor if it's something it's passing through our integration or not, we don't have this kind of information on Mauric. We have to run small tests in order to get this information. That is the, the first advantage. Well, we're, right now, let's create a scenario and let's connect Facebook leads with Mauric. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows Facebook leads. Facebook leads, is, it's a way how to create an advertisement with a form in Facebook 
and Facebook will fill out the form with Facebook user data. And this format is great. Uh, we don't need, for example, we don't need to connect all our scenarios tools right now. We can add after, like in case you you miss some some step, you can add in in the next. Let's let's continue. Uh, and here we are. We are. We did to start from the trigger. Which solution we are going to pull the data and it's Facebook leads basically, right? Uh, here we can select the intervals and many other things. Let's pick Facebook leads and according to which solution, each application, these options, these options will open according to each solution. So this solution we have only only four, but like Mark, we, we're gonna see we have more. So it 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 depends on platform we are we, we are attaching here. And um, we're going to use new leads and I'm going to connect, create a new connection. I create a couple of connections. Let's see, I'm going to create a new one called Mauric Con 2020 Final. Yeah, that's a great name. Ah, now we'll create a new one. New connection name, continuing. And let's see what's what's gonna happen. Well, basically the integromats they they took my 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 previous connection and yeah and it's listing all my fan page, all my Facebook page. So In order to connect to your Facebook ad account, it's super easy. You don't need to create a Facebook developer user or anything like that. It's Integromat it will guide you through the page. It's a, a simple wizard. So it's super easy. So now I'm going to pick this one, Portic, our account. And now Integromat will pull the the available forms we have in our Facebook ad account. So I'm going to select this one, I don't know, this one, and save. So we'll connect everything and okay. So this first stage is ready. And now we're going to connect to Mark. So here, as you can see, we, we have more options. We have, we can search contact. For example, if you would like just search some user, some contact uh, on Mauric. You can get a contact, you can create update. I like this one because uh, instead of to create one action and spend your operation just for search and other to insert or update, you have one for both. So in this way, you don't need to spend your integral match operations, what's great. Uh, and okay, let's create a contact. And let's see, base, I think they will, uh, let's create a new connection ones just to mark final do, domain. We created a, a demonstration. Okay, great. And I create a couple of credentials, then you're gonna Log into your Mautic platform and go to API credentials and check it out before if you OAuth to it selected. So let's create a new one. Then I click call Integromat. I'm going to put the, the same name. And this URI, you can find Integromat, they have an article about exactly this step-by-step. -step. Basically, it's just Google for Mautic, Integromat, URI, URI and, and select this one. So great. And 
once you're here, they have the U U R I and just copy and paste here. Oh, sorry, it's not here. Here. Save and close. And now we have the public key. This secret key. Let's confirm. And now Mauroki will ask our username. And one good thing it would be if we had created our uh, special username, a special user just for this integration. Now I'm going to use my my standard username, Rodrigo. Uh, but would be great if you can create your a special username in on your Mautic because then you can connect and you can see on Mautic uh, who was the user who updated the contact. So now we are seeing all Mautic fields. So even 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 the the custom fields. So like here, first name, last name. And when we click here, it shows all Facebook ads fields. Uh, our form, our ad form, we are asking just email, first name, last name, and company name. But you can even using, use more fields, like uh, you can even ask more things on your ad form. So let's just Pick first name, last name, and company name. And, okay. Well, now it's ready. It's, you can even click here and, and, and test. Uh, it will run a couple of, of uh, these, this form, we don't have any contact yet, but it just to show what's gonna happen. And you can even still connect more things here. You can even connect in like uh, a Google spreadsheet, like to insert a new role on your Google spreadsheet with a new contact. You can, it's great. You can, in one of Mautic integration I like most, it's one because you can call a Mautic API. Uh, what's great because with Mark API you can you can give give superpower to our integration. Yeah, uh, this is fantastic. So you can connect to your HubSpot. You can connect everything. Other scenario, it's common. It, for example, when we connect, we connect to uh, a webhook. For example, in case you are using type form or, 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 or gravity forms or, I don't know, WP forms or Elementor form. So whatever kind of form, if they have a webhook integration after the, sub, the form submit, you can create a, a webhook here you can pick this one, for example, and for example, it's going to send to Mautic. And here we're going to pick webhook and custom webhook. And let's create a new one. It's going, it's coming from, for example, type form. We create a, a type form or uh, Elementor form. So and now, Integromat, Integromat created a URL, and we can copy this URL and paste on Elementor. And after that, each new contact who fill out the form on Elementor form, so Elementor will post the data to this URL too. So it's great. And this 
are a couple of suggestions. You can even connect, for example, with your cell phone. Yeah, they have connection with Android and many other solutions. I hope you, you had enjoyed uh, our, our presentation. We will open for, for questions. And in case you have any kind of question about how to use Integral Match, in case we can help, just hit, hit me up on our chat, party.com, and it will be a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Thank you, community. And let's contribute and let's build something great together. See you soon. So now I think probably Ruben will manage the questions. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So there are not questions yet, but uh, okay. feel free. Yeah, there's, there are not questions yet, but feel free to drop a question on this link if you have. Uh, we still we still have some time, but actually I have a question for you, uh, Rodrigo. If you don't mind, I mean uh, I know that you I mean you, you show a different you know different software there. Uh, do you think that there is gonna be gonna be uh, any restrictions in the future when there is some compromise from the browsers to you know remove cookies you know and all these tracking you know techniques. So how do you see in the future this, this kind of things are gonna change or, or? Ah, yeah, for sure, for sure. We we already seen Google Chrome, and uh, I don't know who already have this issue when, for example, agencies, usually they have, for uh, some agents, they have just one Mautic for 10, 15, 20 clients, and they have to put the same, the same, the same tracking code in many URL in many website, and that is considered a third cook. So I think we will our future for marketers. Like I, I'm a marketer guy. I like to track. I know uh, everything about uh, about privacy and and and. and but I think uh, as marketer, we don't have a bright future because <laughs> Google Chrome is blocking uh, everything. So oh. in the future, we have to maybe, uh, maybe ask for a login or maybe, but in the future, Google it's blocking. It, not only Google, like we can see a couple of initiatives like the new email client, Hey, from the guys from Basecamp, mm -hmm. uh, and they they put a lot of restriction about about uh, about tracking about things like that, and it's still it's still a few people, but I think it's growing. So in the future, as marketers, we have to be more more, more creative. In, in order to find new ways how to track and do things like that. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's a good it's a good chance for uh, Mautic uh, as a product, uh, you know, to, to 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 be implemented by the people, you know, in their own domain. Meaning that it's not going to be a third party cookie again. So it's your own cookie, it's your own system. So I guess that that's going to be open. That's going to open, you know, good market. You know, yeah. Less, you know, mm -hmm. I always suggest it to my my agency's clients. They 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 create one Mautic for each client. I always suggest that because you know it's better uh, to separate, and you can you you can give access to your client to see their data. And I think it's always the best way. But we know. Uh, there are a couple of agents, they put everything together. What's not wrong, but it's... <laughs> Definitely. Okay, a couple of questions pop up meanwhile we were hanging around, right? Uh, one is from Marcus, is what, what is all possible with Facebook integration? 
we saw lead ads, also building custom audiences, out of the mouth segments or something? Yeah, uh, this custom audience, it's a good one. Uh, when we were attaching Facebook leads model on Integromat, I don't know who realized, but there are several other Facebook connectors. Uh, it's not only the four listed uh, when we 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 pick it Facebook leads. It's just two Facebook leads, and we have one special just for custom audience. Uh, what is great, you, you can you can uh, push the data to Facebook custom audience. And for example, if you have one mark segment just for for example enterprise companies, so you can create an ad campaign with all the copy all the arguments, all, all the objection uh, uh, folks on enterprise company because Mauric is pushing the email to, to Facebook custom audience and, and you can create a new segment just for, for example, uh, a small business and, and integrate this segment with uh, Facebook custom audience and create a special ad just with the copy. A, a focus on small business so you can do this kind of thing I, I don't know if i answer exactly the the question more or less that was exactly you know what what, what else was possible with the facebook integration that's cool um, and another question from marcus what is your pricing what are sorry pricing the, the price well, <laughs> it depends. It's, it, it depends. It's it usually Mauric. Uh, it's a good way how to customize a solution for a client. So first, we need to understand because many people who get into our our open source world, they many of them they are just looking for for price and. But in, in, in many cases, we have to customize so much the mark and, 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 and it depends. Uh, basically, it, uh, we have to, to talk first, a quick conversation, 10, 15 minutes to identify if mark is real, the, it's, it's the, the good solution for uh your problem basically it depends i know it's frustrating but it depends <laughs> okay then it's better that marcus contact you directly at power tick or um ask for a quote right <laughs> right great. great okay marcus if you're listening you know contact rodrigo directly and then just arrange a quote cool there is no more questions uh, that at least they're not showing up in a slide so Okay, great. So we still have some time if you want to hang around, Rodrigo. If not, we can recap. And then you can, uh, you know, you can have a good uh, chill for the rest of the sessions. Thank you for, you know, jumping in when the technical difficulties were extreme and do the, your session live. It was really, really good. I guess uh, the audience also, you know, is happy to have you, you know, live, you know, and answering the questions live. That was really good. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Rodrigo. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you for everything. Thank you, all Mauric community. I'm so glad to be here, involved. And uh, it was a big mission because it was right after Root and with a lot of news about Mauric 4. I, I, I'm still liking uh, fixing our clients Mauric 3 and now we have Mauric 4. It's, it's great. It's, we, I'm, Looking forward for, for the next steps. Thank you, everyone. Thank you again. Uh, enjoy the rest of the Mauticon. It's still a few sessions again. See yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.